Hello everyone and welcome to our webinar on NLP analytics. We're delighted to have you all with us today. My name is Luzon and I'm the account manager here at Cardiolog Analytics. Firstly, let's get some logistics out of the way. Please feel free to submit your questions throughout the presentation via the Q&A feature. I will address as many as we can at the end of the webinar. And we are also recording this webinar and we'll share the link with you all after the event if you want to share this with a colleague. Now let's dive in. In regards to the agenda for today's webinar, we will start out with a very short introduction. I'll talk a bit about Cardiolog Analytics and who we are. And then I'll have a brief overview of the importance of NLP in today's digital landscape. And then I will jump into the presentation of Cardiolog Analytics NLP and PII reports to show you how those reports should be leveraged. And as I've mentioned, at the end, we will have time um, and I'll be taking some questions. So feel free to send your questions throughout the course of the presentation. So just a quick introduction. Cardiolog Analytics has been providing analytics for 365 for about 18 years now. We started back with SharePoint on-prem and we grew with Microsoft to the cloud. And today we track everything from SharePoint to Teams, Yammer or Viva Engage, Exchange and so on. So just a little bit about our vision as a company. This slide shows our evolution. Our goal is to help our customers constantly improve SharePoint based on how it's being used. The four main pillars that we talk to our customers about are monitoring activity, which is tracking the usage within SharePoint and Microsoft 365 platforms with in-depth internet analytics, insights, and usage reports. Our customers then realize that understanding usage analytics is often simply not enough, and they wanted a way to take action based on the insights gained from monitoring their portal usage. And then enhance. We want to make sure that we are constantly improving SharePoint and Microsoft 365 based on these pillars. So the idea is to have actionable metrics which will allow us to constantly make SharePoint better for our users by increasing corporate productivity and improving portal, portal ROI. And then the final pillar is incentivize. We can turn that data into a game as well. So instead of just the admins owning the data, we can make sure those end users have access to the data and can see how they compete with their colleagues, get points and coins. And we conclude by seeing how we can turn that raw data into exciting gamification and leverage that within our organization as well. Natural language processing or NLP, I'm getting right into our topic today, is a realm of AI that helps machines understand and interact with human language. In the context of business analytics, it's about extracting insights from vast amounts of text data effortlessly. In the digital landscape platforms, such as SharePoint and Microsoft Teams are pivotal for seamless collaboration and efficient data management. The integration of NLP and personally identifiable information or PII, as I will refer to it from now, analytics into these platforms significantly elevates their utility. NLP enhances communication by enabling a deeper contextual understanding of user queries, optimizing search functionalities, and automating content management. On the other hand, PII analytics are crucial for data security and regulatory compliance. They ensure sensitive information is shielded, helping businesses adhere to global data privacy norms like GDPR, 
and CCPA, both of which Cardiolog Analytics adhere to. Moreover, they facilitate detailed tracking of personal data access, ensuring transparency and accountability. When combined, NLP and PII analytics offer a smarter and safer user experience in SharePoint as well as Microsoft Teams, harmonizing swift information retrieval with paramount data protection. Let's take a sneak peek at how Cardiolog Analytics's NLP and PII dashboards look and function. So I'm going to hop right into our demo environment. NLP can significantly enhance the functionality and user experience of Microsoft Teams and SharePoint, helping organizations maximize their collaboration and productivity. So let's look at some of those reports. First, in this particular dashboard, Teams PII detection. What I'm showing you right now is a report that displays information for Microsoft Teams. What we present in this report is all the teams that have messages with PII information detected there. And we group it by different PII categories. There are many types of personal information, things like credit card numbers, uh, usernames, passwords, driver license, all of these things. And they are grouped into categories such as personal information, national information, that could be passports, details, things like that, financial data, and also technical security. So we grouped all of this data into these known categories, and that is what we display in this bar chart for a team. So that you can understand in which teams there are PII detections and from which category. So for example, we can see here that the research and development team has quite a lot of PII detections, and most of them are actually personal. That means that most people that mention personal information about the address of people or their name, some personal details about them, phone number, things like that. Here also we have a donut chart that presents the PII detections by category, in general, not specifically for a team. So you know in general for the entire organization how many PII detections you have for each category. You can use that as a filter as well. If you click on financial, then all, of course, it's going to filter the entire dashboard to present all the information about PII detections from the financial world and so on and so forth. So that's, a very, that's very useful as a filter. Let me remove that again. There are filters here at the top as well, of course, to filter by certain PII categories and specific PII entities. Entities are the more detailed pieces of information from each category. So, like I said before, if we talk about technical security, then entities in that category could be the username or password. It could be the IP address on the computer of the user, financial could be credit card number, bank account number, things of that sort. So these are all detailed in the different entities that are detected and available. So these entities are shown here in this particular donut chart. So you can also use that as a filter and better understand how many detections you have of each entity and drill down even further. Below we can see the actual message to better understand where this data is detected and take action. So if we know in this specific message that was written by a certain user on a certain date, there are some PII detections and we want to deal with that and handle that, we can reach out to the creator of the message or take some other type of action in the organization. But the idea is that we can actually pinpoint where those details are mentioned in Teams, so we can even go down to the message level and even see what type of entities or which categories of entities were mentioned in that message. Of course, we won't show the actual personal information, but something else like the entity type. So in this first message, for example, the address of a certain user as mentioned was mentioned, and we basically show instead of the actual address, a keyword 
called address. So we actually know what type of PII information was mentioned in this message without revealing, of course, the actual information. You can also filter this report by specific teams or specific channels to drill down further and see PII detection in specific teams and channels. If we look at actual language analysis, this particular dashboard within Teams, we can see useful reports here, such as key phrases in messages. The purpose of this report is to emphasize the prominent phrases that reflect the most discussed topics in Teams and their corresponding positive or negative sentiment. Language use in messages. This report provides insights into the language usage within Teams by applying filters such as English, you can ascertain the sentiment of messages specifically in that language. If you look just to the right of that at message messages sentiment ratio, analyzing the sentiment ratio in Microsoft Teams messages through sentiment analysis provides valuable insights into the overall sentiment within the team or organization even. It helps gauge satisfaction, identify areas of improvement, monitor sentiment trends, and address concerns. Sentiment analysis in Microsoft Teams messages allows teams and organizations to quantify sentiment, drive positive engagement, and make data-driven decisions. For SharePoint, we can see similar data. PI detection by category, will here show you the different departments instead of teams. So Cardiolog Analytics can identify departments with PII by category, which provides companies a way to effectively manage data risks, enforce appropriate access controls, ensure compliance, and respond efficiently to any security incidents or breaches involving PII. If we look at PII detections by entity type, Cardiolog Analytics provides, provides PII by entity type to enhance data governance, strengthen security controls, and comply with regulatory requirements, and streamline various aspects of data management and protection. If I hop into the next dashboard, understanding the sentiment breakdown in this particular report, of posts is crucial for a company to gauge user feedback and identify areas of improvement. So this particular report, which differentiates between positive, negative, and neutral sentiments, provides a snapshot of user perception, enabling an organization to proactively respond to user sentiments and refine their strategies accordingly. But now I have all of this data, I understand certain breaches have taken place. I know the sentiments in the messages, in the teams, but what do I actually do in order to improve that? What do I do to actually take action? And that is where Cardiolog Engage comes in. So I'm switching to our next solution, Cardiolog Engage, and all of the data that I've just shown you Cardiolog Engage pulls from the data in order to actually launch campaigns and take action based on that data. For example, your first step would be, I want to launch a campaign based on the data. Who do I want to send this particular campaign to? So maybe I have seen in the data that um, there are specific groups, maybe users who belong, I've seen in the data users who belong to a specific department in SharePoint, um, something flagged in terms of PII um, in a specific team in Teams, and then I want to take action, I want to notify or maybe remind everyone in the group of um, certain restrictions and let them know what they have done wrong, let them maybe ask for some feedback. So the first step would be choosing that audience. So 
you can create a specific group, you can maybe send a message to everyone. If it's a detection that you notice regularly, then maybe everyone in the company or everyone in the organization should receive this message or this notification. So how am I going to send them this message or this notification? You pick a channel. Do I want to send it to them as a text message? Maybe an in-app message right within SharePoint that can show up as a header or a footer. Um, maybe a quick email or a message right within Teams. You can design that message. You can send them. They could be a call to action. Maybe they should, first of all, for everyone to understand um, the meaning of PII, they should be a training session or a session. So then you can ask them to RSVP. Maybe there's something that you have noticed users are are doing or there's information that have been shared and you want to send a message to a specific user or specific teams and you can send them a message the call to action there will just be to confirm that they've received the message you can say um, I have noticed um, the following and that message will not you won't bombard all of your users with that message but only a specific team or specific user will actually receive that message where you are maybe telling them um, I, I've identified a certain data risk, um, I've noticed that personal information that shouldn't have been shared was shared by you, please refrain from doing that in the future or I can even send a message to the administration to remove whatever was sent that shouldn't have been sent and that breached the PII. So the next step would be a trigger. When will this message be sent? So I can either send this message immediately, I can schedule this message to be sent at a specific date or time, or it could be triggered. So when someone takes a specific action, this is when that message will be sent to that specific user or that specific team or that specific department. So again, what type of messages would one, for example, send? If you see in the data that there's um, a certain team and there's a lot of negative sentiments, and maybe I want to reach out to everyone in that team, I want to maybe ask them for feedback, I want to gauge why there's so many negative messages that are coming through. It obviously is affecting collaboration, it's affecting productivity, so you want to take action immediately. So in that case, you want to send a message immediately as soon as that has been flagged or as soon as you see in the data all of these negative sentiments. Or also you will take action immediately if you see that information that shouldn't have been shared, maybe credit card details have been shared and then that's also something you should take action on immediately. So for these type of things, um, immediately would probably be the best trigger. And once you have selected your audience, your channel, you've written your message, then you can go ahead and launch that campaign. And then based on your message, those users or those teams or departments will receive that really important message notifying them or flagging if it's an if it's admin flagging the particular breach in the case of PII. We here at Cardiolog Analytics, let me just go back to my presentation. We here at Cardiolog Analytics and as a Microsoft partner, we really believe that NLP analytics and PII are not just the future, um, they are the now. So if you are ready to transform your organization's data strategy, then Cardiolog analytics is here to guide the way. So let's chat more about how we can get you started. So let me quickly check if I have any questions. I notice that I do have two questions, 
I have a question from Rachel. Rachel is asking what is the licensing for this? So um, it's all part of ca cardiolog analytics. We have many, 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 many dashboards. Uh, many of you are familiar with cardiolog analytics. So these are just some of our new dashboards and some of our new reports that we've added. So it's not anything extra. It is part of cardiolog analytics. So the licensing for this is the same. It's a, the license is a yearly subscription based on the number of users that we'll be tracking. And I see I have another question from Sarah. How does deployment work? So what's really neat about this tool is that it is designed for SharePoint and for Teams. So there's no need for customization when you want to deploy with our setup wizard. You can get you can really get it up and running within an hour and already start collecting that precious data. Um, we have a, a free trial as well as proof of concept for people who want to try it out for longer, for longer evaluation, or maybe try it for more environments and more free, more features. So I highly recommend you reaching out to us so we can set up a trial for you so you can actually um, utilize these reports in your own company, utilize these dashboards in your own organization so you can see how well it can work for you as well. We also have a free limited trial. Reach out to us. We can also help you set that up if you just want to try it out for 14 days. You can also reach out to us and we can share more information about what is included in each. Visit us at intlock.com to book your free demo or that trial that I've just mentioned for any of the solutions that you saw here today. And for more information and helpful tips, you can check out our blog at blog.intlock.com. We have great blogs about the future of NLP, about PII detection, about AI. And for more information, you can contact us at info@intlock.com. And I will wrap this up. Thank you to everyone who joined us. We will be sending the recording to you in the next couple of days. And again, yes, a huge thanks to everyone who joined us today and who sent in their questions. Have a good rest of your day and take care.